Hi, hi, this is Anita with uh, OutsideTheBox.name and um, in this tutorial I really like to show you how you can change your colors. Um, I think that a lot of you would like to be able to change colors for um, certain slide styles. Um, I assume that not every slide style um, has the color that matches your images. So um, it would be really nice if you, um, if you were able to change the colors of the background or you know some uh, some layers that are used in the style that you like to have in a different uh, different color because it would match your image better. Uh, this is my first example. Um, you see here. Usually, we use with a, we we work with a uh, regular background. Uh, you see that over here, the full background, and and very most often it's black. Uh, that's the uh, kind of the default setting, but you can you know you can change that. Uh, however, you can see I am not using the background here. Uh, instead, I'm using the bottom layer, and the bottom layer is purplish black. And um, if I want to change colors of this uh, this background layer, I have to click on it, and I have to go to the adjustment setting tab here. So I click on adjustment settings, and on the right hand side you see the before and you see the after. Um, now there are um, a couple of um, um, ways you can change the color. Uh, the most dramatic ways are using either the U slider that's over here. And I'll show you what I'll do. I'll I'll just slide it back and forth, and it goes from purple, blue, green, green yellow. Um, however, um, if you are going to uh, make drastic changes, um, the best way to do it is to click that colorize button here, and then click on the set. And then you see here this color wheel, and you can take that little ball, that ball here, and then you start playing around, you know, to wherever you want to have it. And then you can fine tune it by uh, moving this white little circle up and down, you know, white, black, whatever. Uh, but even the best option here is that little thing here, this little dropper. If you click on it with your mouse, you can take it everywhere you want. And say you want to have um, a background that kind of matches this red ball in this layer. So I'm going to take this dropper and I'm going to click on this ball. And see what happens. Now the after one has taken that same red color as the ball that I clicked in. So that's kind of neat. I can uh, also change it by, you know, um, sliding here the white values a little bit or the black values a little bit. You know, I can play around with that. But just let, let's keep it simple. Just um, do the colorized, colorized change. And this is how it looks like now. So I'm going to the next slide. Uh, because this one is a little different. It has not just the bottom layer uh, that I changed already in purple, but as you can see there is another, there is this layer, it's called background 3A, and that is bluish. Well, you know, I really would like to have it match that purplish background, so I'm clicking on this, and I'll go again to that colorized um, square here, going in set, and I'm going to take this dropper and I'm going to click it on the purple and then I'm going to take this white little ball and I'm going to make it into more of a lilac kind of color to match the purple so kind of cool let's see how it plays that's kind of cool it doesn't really match the blue but this is just an example so I'm going to the next slide and in this next slide uh, as you can see there is no bottom layer that has a full color in it. So I'm working now with a background. And the background has a default color black. Well, what if I don't like to have it black? What if I want to have it a different color? Um, I, I, you know, what, what do I do now? Because, you know, I can click on this, but I, I can't find that adjustment uh, layer. Instead, I get the background tab. And so, with the background tab, you find this. Uh, you can either um, move, uh, change it into a different solid color, and you get this wheel again, or you can make it into a gradient. And I really want to show you this because this is really neat. Um, there are a lot of possibilities, like the presets. There are so many presets, special effects, uh, pastels, and whatever, whatever you name it. And then there's all these types, the gradient types. You have them in linear. You have them in rectangular. Uh, you can do a plasma, and the way you do that, if you want to change colors, you can just click on the one that has the blue edge, or just tap on it, you know, with your um, with your mouse, and then you go to the color settings, and then you change it the way you like it. 
and you can uh, right click it and cut it or you can double click and add one uh, so this is how you work with uh, adding colors here and changing colors and uh, subtracting colors and so many possibilities it's really cool and you can um, change the position you can change the angle if you put your mouse on the screen you can move it around so you can really do really funky stuff with uh, with this the gradient settings I really want you to go and play with this uh, there's another thing in this let's just uh, change the black around to black because it kinda looks too funky right now so I'm gonna make it uh, greenish okay so if I play this now, you will see there are um, Christmas trees coming down, and those trees have lights in them, and the lights are all colored. They're red, yellow, blue, and um, I don't want that. I want to have them white. So um, how I change it is this. I go to the layers that have the lights, and they are called 3-1 Lights A. So I click on that layer, and uh, again, I go to the adjustment settings. And um, instead of playing with the colorize button and try to make it all white, you know, the easiest way to do this is unclick that colorize, go to the black point setting, the slider, and slide it all the way to 100%. And this makes all the colors go white. So you have to do that for all the same layers. So all the three, one lights A, I give it 100%. I can type it in or I can move that slider. I'll do it for one tree. So you can see it, it will take too long to change all the, the three trees in there. Oh, there was a thousand, there's no thousand. There's only a hundred percent. So let's see how it plays. On the right hand side you still have the colors, but on the on the left hand side, but on the right hand side, there is a tree that has the white lights in them now. And there's another thing I want to show you. Um, the difference between changing colors with the U slider and changing the colors with the uh, colorized uh, button. Um, if I take this uh, top layer, which is uh, a picture of my dog Tulip, and uh, Tulip is brown and black, and if I'm going to change the U slider on her, then um, you see she becomes purple and blue, but uh, the rest of the picture is not doing a whole lot. You know, everything that's white kind of change, uh, change, doesn't really change, it stays white, and the black doesn't really change. But um, if I'm going to change the colors with the uh, colorized button, then I can uh, make drastic changes. You see, if I have the purple here, everything kind of becomes purplish. So this is um, a really strong, strong. Um, change here. So this is how you work um, your colors and um, I really hope that you're going to play with that um, with a color wheel and with the gradients and to get a better feel for it because it's really fun to create your own colored backgrounds and match your, your images. So I wish you good luck and uh, thanks for watching.